This is a quick message before the video begins. Uh, I would like uh, to ask you to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps me out and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Super Dave. I'm back on Mega Arc episode 21. And well, I did finally complete the base mostly. Uh, there's probably a few things I need to uh, touch up on, which I've been working on. kind of made it into a, like a little bit of a tier base. Um, let me go around here. I want to show this off. I made a little like gated area for some of my creatures. I got the only one I can get in here of course is the Morella Tops. They got big butts and they can't fit through the uh, gate frames. I did tame another uh, saber tamed it yesterday when I was doing some, you know, just searching around for some uh, uh, supply drops and stuff. Uh, found that it was a 130, and also, let me get this guy out, while, while I had no, after knocked this one out, it was over there by the, those uh, rock formation with a little pond or whatever, kind of nearby the uh, Rex Triangle. Uh, this guy was chasing something in the water and then started getting me. He's attacking my RG. I noticed uh, this level was 145 female Capra. I went in and tamed her. Uh, wasn't well, really planning on taming Capros yet. But, yeah. uh, haven't, you know, placed well yet, but still can get a drink of water every once in a while. Mm, let's see. Let me go around. This is the technical front of the house is basically where I started when I you know last episode right here and yeah this is the front of the house and uh, I also found this uh, it was in one of the uh, Halloween uh, the candy corn drops uh, sometimes it'll uh, drop masks and you can place the Dodo Rex and Dodo Wyvern mask on a trophy mount. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, I had to deck, duck through that one. But it's a little annoying. But And then got some sand. Uh, built up some walls. Uh, kind of had to build into the, uh, the, the cliff a bit or whatever. And then, then this tier here. Um, this would probably be my workshop area, at least for the moment. I might extend it out some. The yellow drop coming down over there, I might check out. But uh, today I'd planned on building the uh, wind farm. Um, I might check out that yellow drop too in a minute. Um, the best place is right here on this cliff end here. It is 100%, and I do have a couple of them. I have one on my RG as well. They're really heavy. Uh, also been doing some uh, resource gathering. Uh, I did get a crap ton of metal. So I have that cooking in the forges there. I might show that off in a minute. I also have a lot of crystal as well. Check this yellow drop out, and then uh, we'll uh, place those uh, wind, uh, wind turbine. I really would like to have my HUD back on. Thank you. Thank you. The snakes will come after me as well. Well, I've got an oil pump this time. GPS. 
gas does good. Good. That's good. I would like an oil pump too, because I need to start gathering up some oil. And I have been uh, slowly gathering up these uh, Halloween stuff. Uh, I got a lot of pumpkins. Uh, some scarecrows. This is the first time I've dealt with the tombstone or the headstone. Uh, I will be showcasing that stuff on Halloween, so. But like I said, between here and there, you'll see me pick up stuff whenever I see them. But I do want to buy some of the, you know, the emotes and the costumes and stuff. And probably some chibis as well. been placing some of my stuff in this box here, uh, like my blueprints and the additional weapons. I did get this uh, sickle, which is pretty cool. Did make up another uh, pickaxe as well. Uh, I'm gonna put the, uh, okay, that's where I put the windmill or wind turbine. I might go place that down to the oil pump. But, uh, let's get the uh, turbines started first. Uh, I am also going to need to make up a, what do you call it, fabricator. Okay, I said right here was the best place. Let's see, yeah, 100%. Alright, let's go ahead and place these one of them kind of facing towards the cliff. fabricator as well so let's see grab that oil pump there was a few places not sure exactly how many places are nearby but it'd be kind of mean there'd be one over here might be be an oil vein, usually. I think I might be able to shoot as long as I don't hit it in the head. I want that one. There we go. Well, we need a few measure berries. It's a nice colored one. There's a red one over there too. Huh. I'll keep you 
And, you know, I'm just going to keep you in the event colors are already starting to show, in other words. about that red one. Kind of cool too, but I will do some uh, mutations and get some colors, but I like this blue one. Kind of nice looking. Alright, I guess right over here I'm going to, I think, one of these. That's ah, oil. I'll check this one first. I know you usually buy these uh, plateaus, mesas, whatever, you know, usually we'll have some oil veins. For sure, the oil veins are over here. Wish they were running a bit closer, but. Most of those uh, the Halloween uh, supply drops, the candy corn drops, they, uh, mainly just have meat and uh, berries in it. So. And like I said, sometimes I'll have like a mask. I check that one out. Or of course I'll place more. Might check that blue drop. 
that. Place it and leave it. It's not going to produce oil. Same with uh, whenever you do the uh, sap. We'll get a uh
don't know which one was that. Okay. bring some back from the uh, base so I will be right back all right guys I'm back I'm gonna go and get this two this time I do have a, a trough too. I'm gonna have it over there. Oh, and the Morella Tops is teamed up. Cool. Let's go grab him real quick. I think it was a female, I can't remember.
guys. I guess that'll be it today. I know it was kind of a shorter episode than usual, uh, but I got my wind farm set up. I will get them hooked up. Uh, they act similar to generators, um, especially on this map. Uh, they're probably better because, you know, they're in like the uh, lightning storms and what do you call it? I think sandstorms kind of damage regular generators. So that's basically the entire reason for these guys um, on this map especially uh, but I will you know eventually have them connect uh, they are a bit away from the base but that's okay I'll just probably put the wire into the ground probably won't see a lot of it and yeah I guess that'll be it for the this episode and you guys have a wonderful hour well, if you enjoyed the video make sure you leave a subscribe leave you a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time you have a wonderful day